Welcome everyone. So yes, a lot of people thought that the answer for this one is supposed to be 2 because 1 upon 3 and 1 upon 3 when divided gets cancelled and we are just left with what 4 divided by 2. The answer is supposed to be 2. No, that is not how these things work. Okay, the reason for this is that when you have something like these, okay, both of these fractions are in its improper form. So you need to convert them in its prop, in, uh, sorry, both of these fractions are in mixed form. So you need to convert them into its improper form. Now what do you do then? Uh, here you will continue to write the 3 as it is. Okay. And the, for the numerator what happens is the denominator gets multiplied to the integer part. So 4 multiplied by 3 plus the numerator. So answer for this one is 13 upon 3. Similarly 2 1 by 3 the answer for this one would be what denominator continues to remain same. 2 gets multiplied by 3 plus 1. So answer is what? 7 upon 3. So now we can say the question is what? 13 upon 3 divided by 7 upon 3. Now whenever you have division with fractions, you need to follow the rule of KCF. Where K stands for keeping the first number as it is. 13 upon 3 divide. And C stands for changing the division sign to multiplication. And F stands for flipping or taking reciprocal of 7 upon 3 which is 3 upon 7. So answer for this question is comes out to be 13 upon 7. Okay now this again is an improper fraction because the numerator is greater than the denominator. So for that you need to convert them into its next fraction form which is dividing 13 by 7. 7 ones are and when you take 7 away from 13 you are left with 6. So how do I write it in its mixed fraction form? Whatever is your quotient gets written as the integer part. Your denominator continues to remain same which is 7. And whatever is the remainder becomes the numerator. So here the answer is 1 6 by 7 or I can simply say it is 13 upon 7. I hope this is very very clear to everyone. That's it for today. I will see you in the next video.